Hello everyone, welcome to TechPep Thoughts. Today I am going to share one more new implementation of graph data structure. In my previous video, I have explained a zero index based graph data structure, how we can create that with the help of linked list. But today, the graph implementation that I am going to share, it will be non zero index based and there's, it means there is no direct link with the index. We can assign any value, we can use any node and there is no restriction of index. Okay, Graph implementation is very very important topic and there are multiple ways to implement the graph but I am explaining one of the way how we can implement the graph which is non-zero index based. Okay, so let's move ahead without wasting time. Okay, So this is our agenda of graph on which I am working on. So we have already discussed the concept, application, representation and implementation of basic graph. Okay, and today I am picking up a new way of implementation graph data structure and today I will use the direct graph. Okay, so let's move ahead. I will discuss all these things in detail. I strongly suggest you to watch the previous videos where I have explained graph data structure, its representation and adjacency list and metrics with simple implementation. Okay, so a best way to explain is through an example as we are talking about the new implementation of graph but let me quickly uh, give you a brief overview of what we are going to do so to represent a uh, standard graph i have given a name standard graph because this is a non zero uh, index based graph so we will take a list of graph nodes so the graph node is nothing it is a class which is representing a single node so what a single node can contain or what operation you can perform on that single graph node so we should be able to perform add neighbor behavior remove neighbor and remove all neighbors and its graph node value that we should be able to assign and how to get the value of that graph node okay so implementation is consisting of various fields properties methods and value and different methods are available here so this is a single node and what how we will construct a graph with this graph node class we will create another class and i am giving it a name a standard graph and with the help of this you can see on the right hand side we are using constructor we are using count which will return the number of nodes available in the graph and there are different methods like add node add edge find remove node so we will discuss all these things in with example in visual studio okay so just after a few seconds so the graph i am going to represent today so in that all the edges are directional in the graph adjacency list can represent the graph in computer memory very easily okay and this is a completely new implementation that what we have discussed in my previous video so this is a direct directed graph we can see uh, the direction is one two three and all the nodes value are one two three four five six seven eight okay so the output will be like new graph adjacency list implementation it is non-zero index based so node value 1 is connected with 3 and node 2 is connected with 4 and 5 and node 3 connected with 6 and similarly okay so let's switch to visual studio without wasting time how it looks like this is my visual studio and this is the same solution that i have used in my previous sessions of graph data structure implementation so you can see in and this is a asp.net core empty web application that i have used to demonstrate the graph data structure implementation so it will it it will be helpful for you to implement with some uh, new technologies new web projects and it is super easy okay so in that you can see we have four classes basic graph program.cs standard graph and startup.cs so two classes are by default that we got program.cs and startup.cs so i have created two new classes basic graph.cs and standard graph.cs so a basic graph implementation I have discussed in my previous session so I strongly suggest you to watch that so today we will focus on the standard graph or you can say non-zero index based graph implementation earlier we implemented the graph type 1 okay but now we will implement the graph type 2 okay so let's go through the class first which is our standard graph so what I have shown you we will create a node first we are creating a private variables we are creating a constructor in that what we are doing whatever the value is coming to this node we are assigning that value to this private variable value and we are also initiating the neighbors with a new list of graph nodes okay that is what we are doing and in value 
we are simply getting the value from the private variable and from neighbors what we are getting we are getting the underscore neighbors that will be initialized whenever we will initiate a new node and in add neighbors what we are doing we are checking either that neighbor already contains that neighbor if that is true then we will return false otherwise we will just add that neighbor into the neighbor list okay and in remove neighbor similarly we are checking either that neighbor is present or not if that is present we will simply remove otherwise we will return false all these returning the boolean value and in remove all neighbors we will simply for each all the nodes which are available in our neighbor list of that particular node on which we are calling this remove all neighbor method and we will remove all the items one by one and at the end we will return true okay and in the last method this is very important one and this is for the uh, you know ease of viewing purpose it means we are creating a string builder and in that we are assigning what are the values available in our node and what all its neighbor so we can see in this beautiful way don't worry if this is not clear while i will run this program you will be easily able to understand and don't worry about the piece of code everything is available on github repo and the link is given in the description of this video so don't worry about that so let's have a look of the graph in which we are using this graph node and constructing a complete graph okay so i am using the http context to print on the response okay so this is not the part of the graph implementation but this is just a way to write onto the response in asp.net core okay so again we have created a my graph nodes it means all the nodes which are available in this graph we will add them in this my graph nodes okay and you can see in the constructor we are not doing anything but now we are performing many operation on this graph that generally anyone can perform one method is count which will return all the nodes available in this graph and what we are simply doing we are saying it should return my graph nodes dot count next we have a graph node property and you can see in get we are simply saying it should be read only so that no one can modify this graph unintentionally so in that case we will simply use the graph nodes and graph nodes add these read only it will return from this property and we have add node method and it is very important because whenever we want to perform addition of any node in the graph this method will be called and what we are doing we are simply passing the node value okay and in the find method first we are checking either this value is already exist or not okay if you will see this method is returning graph node and what we are simply doing we are checking either this value is present in any of the graph node or not okay and if it is present then we are saying okay return the item okay so first we are checking either it is available or not and if it is not null then we are returning false and if it is null then we are simply adding this new node into my graph nodes okay and we are returning true this is very simple again in terms of adding edges we know what edge is edge is basically which is connecting two nodes and it is again very important one okay so what we are doing we are passing the two nodes between them we want to place an edge okay so what we are doing we are checking that these two nodes either available or not if either first node or second node is equal to null then we are saying we cannot perform the adding edge operation because if the node is not available then how we can perform the placement of an edge okay in else case we are checking if our first node contains the second node it means there is already an edge even in that case we will not add the edge in the graph okay and in third case it means uh, our nodes are not null and our graph one node is not containing the graph node two then in that in that case we will simply add the node in this uh, graph node one and adding graph node two okay so this will be parent and this will be child okay so here graph node one is a parent and graph node two will be the child of this one or you can say there is a connection between the between these two okay so this is the add edge explanation find i have already given you the uh, how it's working it is checking either the graph node is available or not in the graph and 
in terms of remove node it is again very simple we are checking either node is available or not and if node is available we will simply call uh, the my graph nodes that contains information of all the nodes and in that we can simply remove this node by passing the object because it is ultimately a list of graph nodes so and we can also perform the removal of edge so simple first we will perform the checking of nodes either nodes are available or not if node is not null and if node is present uh, with the parent node so we will simply remove that node so we will simply remove the connection we will simply remove the neighbor it means now it is not connected with the parent node and there is no edge it means okay so again in clear we are simply saying we want to remove all the neighbors and we want to sim and you can say we are simply uh, empty our graph and you can see we are performing two for each loop we are removing all the neighbors of each node and then we are removing all the nodes from the graph and at the end we are returning true okay and again this is a two method it is ultimately printing the graph adjacency list implementation which is non-zero index based okay and here we are calling the two string method as well you will see the node dot two string dot append and at the end we are calling node dot two string you can see on my list of graph nodes i am calling the two string method okay if i click here and if hit f12 you will see we are using this graph node two string method and the actual beauty of this method you will be able to understand when you will really debug this because each node that we are iterating here that is also going to contains all its neighbor that is what we are doing here okay and in the same way we are doing this for every node and at the end we are just returning the string so that can be easily written to the response okay so this is a simple uh, explanation of this graph node and a standard graph okay now let's have a look how we are calling this graph and how we are constructing this graph so graph one already discussed in previous session so what we are saying we are simply creating an instance of this graph and in that we are adding a node okay so in that graph if we are calling add node so let's have a look again so we are simply passing the value okay we are checking either it is available or not and if it is not available then we will simply add this node into my graph node list this is what simply we are doing and for adding an edge we are passing two nodes value which are available in the graph it will automatically check as well let me show you once again so first it will check either nodes are available or not and if node not already contain an edge then it will adding an edge between two nodes okay and at the end we are calling the two string method of graph okay if i show you this is the same method it will display all this message and the adjacency list presentation i strongly recommend you to take the repo and do experiment as much as you can okay so let me run this solution to see how it's look like let me run the solution okay it's building the project so application is running here we go now we can see this is the expected result and our graph is behind the scene constructed and this is one of the way to represent the graph in the computer memory and it is saying we have node value 1 which is neighbor 3 and node value 2 with neighbor 4 and 5 node value 3 with neighbor 6 node value 4 with neighbor 6 and let me show you from the um, presentation point of view as well this is the same structure that we were talking about okay let me go back to the presentation i hope you like this uh, output and the whole implementation so this is the same output and this is our graph i hope you like this video if you have any question any comment any suggestion you can drop into the comment box in the next video i will discuss uh, another very important implementation that will be based on generic graph implementation it means it will not be typed with any data type and you can perform any operation on the graph don't forget to provide your feedback that's the only inspiration for me to create such videos and i will see you in the next video till then bye bye and don't forget to like and subscribe bye, -bye.